Welcome to the video from the digitallifes.com. We have another Windows 10 build to look at for Windows Insider on the fast ring. This is 14361. And as we get closer to the release of the July update or the anniversary update as it's going to be called, there's less new features and more fixes. A couple of things that there are is uh, there's a new LastPass extension uh, for Microsoft Edge. So if I flick to extensions. This is the extensions page, and you can see there's getting quite a few in there now. And the latest one there is LastPass, and this only works with this latest build. Um, well, in fact, it says there 14357, which is the previous build, but Microsoft just saying this is the latest build it supports. One other thing I did want to show you is Cortana's changed um, slightly. So when you first open Cortana, now you used to see your interest there, now you see this tips. Uh, view and that looks different as well on the phone. We'll do the phone in a separate video. You've then got to tap, tap that button then to bring up your interest, which I think is okay for discoverability for new users, for people that know how to use it, have been using it for a while. I prefer just to see the interest come straight up. Maybe that'll be an option in future builds. Also new in this is it supports Hyper-V containers. So you can use Docker natively Windows 10 and Hyper-V containers. Uh, uses some of the Windows 2016 technical preview 5 uh, containers images so uh, I'll include a link to the blog post where you've got all the details on that if you're interested in that. There are some other changes as well the Windows Ink Ruler, let's have a look at that uh, Microsoft say the, wing, the Ink Ruler is now longer which it probably is and fits the whole page on a Surface Book because of the high resolution, so uh, that's good to see. Uh, they fixed an issue with the pencil tool where the line drawing along the ruler wouldn't be flush with the ruler. Well, let's have a look. Let's get the pencil tool and uh, try drawing a line so it seems pretty flush on there now. That seems to be working quite well. The improved performance of loading of sketch pack thumbnails in Windows Ink Flyout. So that's the. Um, if I go to Windows Ink, you see these sketch pad. Um, it says the performance has been improved on the thumbnail. So maybe if I do a bit of scrolling and come back and go back to my ink workspace, you can see there it is, it is a bit faster on there. And. Oh, so as well, they've also, um, based on insider feedback, they made the clear all option look like a trash can, which is probably a bit uh, easier to understand. Other changes are in settings, where um, you see now it highlights the section you're in using your accent colour, so I've got a red accent colour, so you can see that on there, uh, which makes sense, I guess. They've also said they improve the readability by changing some of the font sizes as well. There's a new Blu-ray icon, and I haven't got Blu-ray on here, uh, but I can show you what that looks like there on my phone. And uh, it is the kind of thing that insiders like to see of new icons. And talking of new icons, the network icon is uh, is now gone from the little circle. Now it looks like a combination of Wi-Fi. Oops, let's go back. It looks like the combination of Wi-Fi and uh, plugged in network. There are a lot of fixes in this. They've fixed the Netflix and Tweetium uh, keyboard navigation issues. They fixed your YouTube issues. Uh, there's a whole list of, of fixes, quite a big set of changes on that. So check those out in the uh, notes along with the video. Uh, if one of those is affecting you, then you know, that, that's important. There aren't that many known issues on here, apart from if you've got a, uh, a French language build as your main language, then it won't download this build due to a bug in, the, in the releasing the language packs. Um, so you won't get that. And there's some other, a couple of language issues. And uh, one other new feature which I did see, which I've not mentioned, is a new downloads, um, the cleaner view of the downloads as well. Um, maybe I'll try a download and we'll, and we'll see. So there's the new download. It just shows you that you want to the file and the source where you want to um, download it as well. So I think that has changed, uh, which I think is probably a smart to show where it's coming from. 
So that's the main changes with this build. There's not a huge amount of changes, but there are uh, a lot of fixes in there uh, that, you know, if you have got caught by one of those bugs, then it's going to affect you. So uh, you, that is, and there you can see, sorry, I see, I just thought I saw that as well. That's the, showing the new download option. So a very nice, fast build. It's qu fairly quick to install as well. Things are definitely getting closer to the release version. In fact, if we go to settings, you can see there, this is showing your version uh, 1607. Um, so that's the July 2016 version, or it's the anniversary update as it will be called. So thanks for watching this video. More videos right back to the very first Windows 10 build videos uh, available on our YouTube channel.